Hey there riders, Moto Journo Chris here, and I wanted to talk about the latest announcement out of Suzuki with a very special 100th anniversary edition GSX-R 1000R to be available in 2021, commemorating, well, 100 years of incorporation, which was technically 2020, with the livery already seen on their GSX RR MotoGP racer. Next year, punters will be able to get their own special piece of history, however, with the GSX R 1000R to be offered in a special edition sporting the same colours and in limited numbers. Now, they've just announced pricing in Australia with the 2021 100th anniversary edition to see you back 26,990 on the road right away, which considering this is the GSX-R 1000R, not the standard model, is pretty good. That 2021 special edition GSX-R 1000R will be arriving in January alongside the other models, while just 30 will be available here in Australia, making for a pretty exclusive option. Now the latest generation GSX-R Thou is the most powerful ever, producing almost 150 kilowatts and close to 120 newton meters of torque alongside a motion track traction control system, launch control, up and down quick shifter, ride modes and cornering ABS. Plus you get the high spec show up balance free front forks and show up balance free rear cushion light shock, Brembo monoblock four piston calipers and Brembo hybrid 320 mil rotors. It does look like there's a GSX R1000 version of the 100th anniversary special edition or a standard version rather than the R, but it doesn't look like we'll be receiving that here in Australia. Just as exciting if you ask me, is that Australians will also have the opportunity to get a 100th anniversary GSX-R 600 or GSX-R 750, with ever tightening restrictions out of Europe, putting a lot of our beloved motorcycles at risk, with the R&D required to get them into Euro 5 form, and most manufacturers not wanting to see performance suffering in the updated version, which partially explains why we've seen so much capacity creep in recent years, while other models seem destined to be phased out. Now it might be a bit dramatic to suggest these models could disappear, but getting a special edition of both is pretty cool either way, with the GSX-R600 to be 16490 right away, while the GSX-R750 will be 17490 right away, representing a $3000 premium over the 2020 standard editions. Interestingly, while the Supersport bike category has been relatively slow in recent years, Suzuki's GSX-R made two appearances in the top 10 sales chart for the first half of 2020. Firstly, with the GSX-R1000 in the number three position, if you exclude interlopers to the category like the Ninja 400, CBR650R and CBR500R, leaving the Jixa Thou at number three and the GSX-R750 at number five. The GSX-R750 has long been popular thanks to essentially offering a GSX-R600 with a beefed up engine capable of 150 horsepower, claimed at least, with a negligible weight difference. These two models share the same fully adjustable Showa 41mm big piston fork and Showa fork setup, plus Brembo monoblock calipers with the 600 running a 599cc inline four cylinder to the 750's 750cc version. There's only three kilograms difference between the two with the extra three kilos found on the 750 with both featuring a drive mode or ride mode system, adjustable foot pegs and electronic steering damper and 810 mil seat height. There'll only be 10 of the special edition GSX-R 600s in 2021, making it the rarest of the trio to be available in Australia, while there will be 50 GSX-R 750s in the special 100th anniversary edition. As a sign of the times, if you want one of these machines, you'll need to head to the Suzuki Motorcycles Australia website, although your local Suzuki dealer can also take you through the process if you're not too confident with computers, although seeing how this is on YouTube, that's probably not the case. So what do you think of these offerings from Suzuki? Does the traditionally inspired livery tick all the boxes for you? And would you go the Jix 1000 or does the 600 or 750 sound the better deal? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to sub and hit that notification bell. As always, stay safe out there.